Now in this video, we'll look at the valuation of interest rate swaps. So two years ago, you entered into a $100 million notional five-year pay fix LIBOR-based interest rate swap with annual resets that's based on the 30 over 360 day count. Now the fixed rate in the swap contract entered two years ago was 3%. Now currently, the information on LIBOR are as follows. We have a three years maturity from one, two, and three, and then these are the LIBOR for one year, two years, and three years. So you are required to calculate the value of the interest rate swap for the party that's paying the fixed rate. So let's get this. Let's get the situation. So two years ago, when you entered into this contract, okay, it was to pay three percent, and then you will receive LIBOR. Okay, so we normally receive LIBOR, and then you will pay three percent. So the LIBOR will be based on the floating rate after being reset every year. And then, of course, uh, in year four, you will receive float and pay LIBOR. And then same thing for year five, okay? You will receive LIBOR and pay fixed. Now, uh, of course, two years have passed. So now you're at year two. So there's three more years to go. So you want to value the swap as of year two. So in this case, you will have to assume that we are going to close the contract. So when you close the contract, you'll have to enter into an offsetting position. So in, to offset it, we have to go against what we did in the first place. So originally we did a pay 3%. So now we have to receive fixed, All right? So how are we gonna get the fixed rate as of year two? So what we need to do is based on the current rate at year two, we will calculate the fixed swap rate as of today based on these LIBOR rates. Now based on what is covered in the last video that I did on pricing interest rate swaps, so we're going to calculate the present value of these three LIBOR rates. So for the PV of the one year rate, that will be one over one plus 2.5% multiplied by one year. So that will be equal to one plus 0 0.025 times one. And then we invert it. So that's 0 0.9756. I'll store it into number one, store one. So that's 0 0.9756. And then for the PV of the two-year LIBOR, that's 1 over 1 plus 3.7% times 2. So that will be equals to 1 plus 0 0.037 times 2. And then we invert it. So that's 0 0.9311. So I'll save it under number 2. So this is 0 0.9311. And then for the last PV for year 3, that's 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.045, 4.5% times 3 years. So that will be equals to 1 plus 0 0.03, sorry, 45, multiplied by 3, and then we invert it. So that's 0 0.8811. So let's save that in the number 3. That's 0 0.8811. So now what we need to do is we need to sum all this up. So I will just take recall 1 plus recall 2 plus recall 3. Okay, and then that's equals to 2.7878. So we'll save that at number 4, store 4 there. So that's 2.7878. Okay, so this is our total PV. Done. Okay, so we now need to get the new swap rate. So the swap rate as of year 2, okay, for the remaining 3 years. So that will be 1. Okay, remember just take one here. Okay, assuming this is our this is our notional, and then we minus the last PV, which is 0 0.8811, and then we divide by the total PV. Okay, so that's 2.7878. So that will give us one minus the last PV, which is 0 0.8811. Then we divide by the total PV. So that's about 4.277 per uh, about this about 4.267 percent all right so we have the updated rate so when we entered into the contract we paid three percent now to close the contract we'll need to do a receive fix so as of now we can do a receive fix at 4.267 percent so that means i'm selling the contract at a higher price which is good so now to calculate the value okay so to calculate the value of this contract so what we'll do is for assuming you're paying fix, pay fix, pay fix. So we'll take the the latest rate, 4.267%. So we will receive 4.267% fixed. 
and then we close off the contract that we paid 3% on so pay is an outflow and then we will need to PV this for the last three last three payments so the total of the last three PVs will be 2.7878 right and don't forget this is just assuming a $1 notional but our notional is 100 million so lastly we convert it to our actual notional which is which is 100 million all right let's calculate so there'll be 4.267 minus 3 percent okay multiply by 2.7878 and then multiply by 100 million so we get 3532143 all right so this will be our the uh, this is the value of the interest rate swap to the party that is paying the fixed rate now if the exam if they ask you what is the value then of the party that is receiving okay receiving the fixed rate so the party that's receiving the fixed rate will simply have a value that is the negative of the pay fit pay uh, pay a uh, fixed payer so that will be negative 3.53 million so just put in a negative sign so the when you look at the timeline what's happening here is that there's a quick one so as of year two, you still have three more payments to go, year three, four, and five. So initially your contract, you receive LIBOR and pay 3%. But now what we are doing is we are receiving fixed. We assume that if you can receive fixed, so you will receive 4.267% minus LIBOR. And then for the same thing, you receive 4.267% minus LIBOR for year four. And then you receive 4.267% minus LIBOR. So if we were to net off this, you will just have 4.267% minus 3% for these three years. So hence the difference here is basically the net cash flow if you were to close a contract today. And then we'll have to find the PV of this difference and then we PV to year two, which is where you are now. So we need to do it for year three, year four and year five. So hence we need to multiply each of these cash flow by the PV okay and then we need to pv it back so the total pv will be 2.7878 so it's not too difficult to do as long as you uh, look at the example here